Hey you guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. And that's right, without even saying much, this is what we're about to dig into. This very cool, very raw, old school, stripped down 67 Nova, which for me personally, it's my favorite of the Novas, to be honest with you. I, I absolutely love this year. I love the body style. I love the simplicity of this car. I can't wait to get into the story of it with the owner. So at this point, I'm gonna shut up and say, hold on, because here we go, man. This is my new friend, Chris, who has brought out his beautiful 67 Nova for us to shoot. So let's find out what this car is about. First of all, I'm curious, how long have you owned it for? Since 03. You bought it in 03, okay. Bought in 03. And, and when you bought it, it wasn't, it wasn't what it is now. No, it was gold, the gold interior, gold paint, straight six power glide. You guys hear that? Straight six. Granny oh. car. Right? Yeah. Especially gold and white. Gold and white with a six, I guess, makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I guess, if you're buying one <laughs> back then. So what did you, I mean, obviously paint and all that stuff, but did you tear it down completely? No, I left it intact and just changed the drive line and all the running gear in it and then had it painted and put an interior in it, all that kind of stuff. But I did not do a body off. But you got rid of the six cylinder motor. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you put in... 327. The 327. That's the biggest thing with this car is it's actually a 327, 350 horse L79 motor. And most Chevy guys, and especially Nova geeks, know that L79 only came in six. They only built six of these cars in 67. Oh, really? So, so this car is a tribute to those six that they built in 67 with the 350 horse motor. Got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got it. You mentioned tribute and something that Ethan had uh, asked us to work in here is about your friend Ricky, who was in a, Ricky Best, who was in a horrific accident just a few days ago. Right. He passed away. We lost him. His wife is in ICU. Right. And I'm asking you guys to support this. We'll put a link down in the description. We're gonna put a, the link to the GoFundMe campaign because Good. his son right. is being cu currently cared for by his grandmother. Right. Correct. And they're gonna need money towards the medical bills, towards caring for their child. Correct. Anyway, so I'm asking you guys to support this if you can. Go, go hit the GoFundMe link, and even if you throw five bucks in there, it's gonna make yeah, a difference. Yeah, he was a good dude. Terrible yeah. loss. Yeah, yeah, Thank I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry to hear about that. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, of course. So let's talk more about this thing, okay? Let's, let's. You, you wanna look at the motor? I do wanna look at the, the motor. Top. Under here, is it? Right. Or, or is it? Right in there. Where's, oh. Uh, is it? Right where your left hand is, more or less, but down in the grill. A few moments later. Oh, it is. It's right here. As you can see, it's very simple. Yep. Still, everything's stock on the car. Everything's been repainted and redone. It's got a dual cylinder, master cylinder, dual mm -hmm. bowl. And this is the L79 350 horse. And there was only six of these, there was in only 67. six Novas made with the L79 they, in 67. They made about 5,000 more or less in 66, which is a really numerous one. And then they just cut, quit building it. Now I again, love how you've kept this car just, you know, we, we were talking about it before we started shooting. Like, I, I love it all. I'm an enthusiast. So I love when somebody takes this, drops half a million bucks into it, yeah. does all kinds of crazy fabrication. You know what I mean? Like I modernizes everything. I but I also really love, because when it's done this way, it takes you back to 1967. It's exactly the way it would have been done. Right. No changes. Now with the brakes, is it disc or drum? It's four wheel non-powered drums. It is. So it's like a stagecoach stopping it. <laughs> and the steering is the same way. It's like cranking over a, a coal car. Because the steering's manual as well. Strong. That's why I have my nephew drive it. I like how you got rid of the windshield wipers. I guess you're never driving this thing in the rain, so why I have them in the way, exactly. right? Yep. I love these old, the steely wheels like that too, that, that I found again, that's one of the places everyone wants to go first, right? Is changing wheels yeah. and dropping it and stuff. I found, I think, eight or 10 of those things at a swap meet, and they'd already been polished, and I went, oh my God, I just fell in. Yeah. 
Is this a is this red a factory, factory color? Factory red for sixty seven. Do you know the name of the? Is there? I'm thinking Rangoon, but I'm not sure. Okay, but the the motor you said is a stock three twenty seven, but that it's got a cam, doesn't it? Yeah, but stock. And that's the way they built it, stock. Oh, it, it is a hot rod motor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So is it really three hundred and fifty horsepower? This one I think is not because I underbuilt it a little bit for reliability, so it's probably three hundred. But I mean, it gets gently used, so it's not a problem anyway. Yeah. But I built it so it would last, not so it would blow up after 10 miles. <laughs> right. So I go slow forever, as opposed and to enjoy 10 miles it. or not. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Exhaust? Is it is it stock? Is it stock to what the car would have been then? If the, one of the six that was built by the factory is the same thing. Current modern muffler. I gotta admit, I love that you took it from being a six cylinder to a 327. I love that you got rid of the gold on white and went to red on black. I yeah. mean, that's... It had to be. I mean, any of you guys out there that like gold with white, I'm sorry if I offend you, but I think that's just wrong, especially on this car. <laughs> your mothers will like it, but not your men. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I think what we need to do is uh, fire this thing up, yeah, listen to it. Go that's drive the, it a little bit. Point. Let's 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 show these guys what this car is about. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. All right, you guys. Chris is no longer in the car. We got Ethan in the car. If you guys have seen previous episodes, we had Ethan's Mustang on the channel recently. The reason Ethan's in the car is because it's his uncle's car that we're driving, and he set this whole thing up today. And I feel lucky that I get to drive this thing. It's the truth, man. This thing's pretty fun smooth as can be and it's just you know dude i like i guess i'm just the kind of the typical enthusiast where i like i like it all if it's done well and it's tasteful from exotics and supercars to sports cars my passion obviously is in the muscle car pony car world yeah as long as we don't put a ford motor inside a chevy people stay pretty cool yeah right <laughs> But I love how old school this car is. It's, it's, you know, this, like he said, when we were talking about it, I mean, this is what this car would have been if it was one of those six one or six. seven, six was it, Probably, right? Yeah, six, the uh, L79 they put in it with the 350 horsepower. You know, they built six of them and uh, he copied that whole thing. Back you tell this thing's back. geared low. Well, yeah, it's very, very tall. I mean, I'm already in fourth gear. I mean, I know I could be banging it a little harder right oh, yeah. now, but I mean, this is, this thing's geared low, man. And it's all old school though. There's no, there's no suspension done. It's stock suspension. It's drum brakes. It's, oh yeah. It's like, this yeah. really is the car you would have gotten in 1967. If right off gotten, the floor. Yeah. Which is no radio, which is great. Yeah, I mean, this was like your like your cousin just said a minute ago. This was the probably the cheapest, the original version of this car was probably the cheapest version you can get. No radio, right. six cylinder. I mean, motor. I'm assuming that maybe it was like two grand to buy it off the floor. I'm not sure. Like two to four. I'm not. I wasn't. Couldn't have even been four grand. Dude. Yeah, not because it's because it's, it's a, it's a loaded, six cylinder motor, big block car, no radio. Grand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know what RPMs were at because it doesn't have a tab. Yeah, I don't either. I was I was trying. To... <laughs> The Muncies though, they're really tall too, and then with the combo, the, yeah, it's tall in the it's tall in the rear. But this yeah. is, I mean, it's short in the rear, tall in the in the tranny. Right. So you can probably just wrap this thing up. Huh? Plus that the 327 was such a great motor. They were always very strong, and and, and these the 327 and this was beating the Hemi's on the track with bumpy, and they were pissed because the 327 was killing a Hemi. Right, and it shouldn't be based on yeah. displacement. It shouldn't no. have been beaten up. This thing's just bitching though, man. I love it. Dude, I drive, I mean, you know, I get to drive so many crazy cars that are all over the map, and it's this old school stuff. I mean, I was born in 65, so I was two years old when this car came to life. <laughs> That's super cool. And it takes me, you know, it's like you get in something like this, and it kind of takes you back to that, that time. I mean, feeling the brakes, they're yep. like, they're pretty sluggish, you know? I mean, they're there, don't get me wrong, but they're sluggish. Yeah, we don't want to be drag racing with those brakes.
Nice. Wow, it's a really short throw. Yeah, it is. That's a really short throw. I like that. It's interesting how it comes right down onto the seat here, you know? And we're so used to more gears now, I feel like right now I should be going for fifth, right? So this is the wheel that came with this car. Stock, yeah. Because it looks like it's this is the gold it's coming gold. through. Like he had painted it. <laughs> so he painted this and black and then he's worn off. He's worn off all the black paint from yeah, all the years of like driving that. this car. I mean, he's owned the car, what, 16, 17 years, I think. Yeah. He said 03, 03 was when he got it. 16 years. So almost 17 years. I told him, I'm like, if he sells this thing, I'm buying it. This is the best body style of the Nova, too, in I my agree. opinion. I like the earlier ones. I don't mind the 64s, 62s. They, they're all cool, but this is, I think this is the one, 67s, the... It's a it's great crazy body too, style. They made this killer body style, and then they changed it to, I don't Whatever know, the not-so-attractive era of Nova for me. Part of it is, too, I have a bad memory of back in high school. I had my 70 Mustang. It was pretty badass, so I thought. And there was a dude that had a 70 Nova, and his was seriously built. Like, he even had uh, gears in instead of a timing chain. And big block or small block? Big block. Big and block. he used to smoke me all the time, and so I hated Novas just because of that guy. <laughs> I think drives great, though. I mean, it... it you know, it's, it's, I mean, obviously, dude, like, you're not going to go banging the canyons or yeah. doing track days in it, and that's not the design of the car. I mean, you can feel, like, I wouldn't even want to start trying to turn this Motor. car hard. Yeah, it's it's sloppy like that. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't the 67. The, the, yeah. That wasn't the design function of this car. I think this was more of a... Like, it's still makes me nervous right now, you driving. I'm not nervous with you driving, but in this kind of car with the steering... It makes you nervous going on turns fast. That's why, look at how slow yeah, I'm going, totally, man. I totally. can get out and run alongside of us if need yeah. be. You know, it's, it's... It's smooth, though. Dude, this thing runs Perfect. great, and it's... I mean, it's got, like... Yeah, it's got it fun... It's fun power. It's not holy shit power, yeah. you know? like I'm 16 again because we used to drive, you know, <laughs> exactly. I was driving old school yeah. cars back then, dude. We never touched them yet. We left them alone. All right, you guys. That is it for our shoot of Chris's just killer, simple 67 Nova Chevy 2. You know, this is by far for me personally, it's my favorite of the Novas. It's always the body style that I've liked the best. And you guys know, I get to drive some radical, crazy stuff dealing with some of the biggest dollar resto mods and pro touring cars on the planet. And I love those, but there's something that's so cool about going back to what it once was, you know? This is what this car would have been in 1967 if it was one of those original six 327 cars. Just, uh, just a cool experience. I really appreciate Chris taking the time out of his day to shoot with us, Ethan for setting it up, and ultimately that, once again, I got to drive a really cool car. So that's it for today, you guys. Thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. You know I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.